Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Art Regner's video blog for FoxSportsDetroit.com. I'm not coming to you today from the uh, sports corner, but from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Actually, I'm in the visiting coaches booth at Michigan Stadium where the Air Force coaches were earlier today as the Falcons lost to the Michigan Wolverines in Michigan's home opener by a score of 31-25. to So uh, uh, as you can tell, no one's here. It's just me, but I want to show you Michigan Stadium. I don't know if you can see it. It, it is dark out there. There's the, uh, uh, the press box. They've turned all the, uh, the lights off and all that, so uh, we'll swing around again. But uh, I am here in Ann Arbor, and this is an all-white room, so I've been fooling around with the... Uh, uh, the contrast and the colors and things. Uh, I have not been drinking uh, much, to, uh, even though I think I look a little redder than usual. Uh, but let's get right into it. Michigan uh, bounced back from their game against Alabama and defeated uh, Air Force, as I said, 31-25. to The game was very much in doubt in the fourth quarter as uh, uh, the Air Force just would not go away. Michigan had a lot of problems with their triple option attack, especially uh, on the edge, as uh, football coaches like to say. Anything to the outside, it seemed to be a play that Michigan couldn't stop until the final drive where Frank Clark and Jake Ryan and uh, a couple of the other Michigan Wolverines actually made some plays. So uh, uh, first and foremost, I want to say, and I have the, uh, the stats right here uh, for the game, Denard Robinson had a total of 426 yards for Michigan today, and they actually totaled 422 yards total offense uh, because of uh, plays that uh, negative yardage that they got. Uh, Denard had uh, 218 yards passing, and he had 208 yards or pardon me, 218 yards rushing and 208 yards passing. So uh, really, I, we talk about this a lot, and we have said this a lot, but really Michigan's offense is, uh, as Denard goes, so goes Michigan. I think the one thing that is a little bit distressing is that Michigan's run game besides Denard was uh, actually non-existent. Fitz Toussaint carried the ball today. Uh, he had a total of uh, eight uh, 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 carries. Uh, gained nine yards, lost two. So eight carries, seven yards total for Fitz Toussaint. So uh, that wasn't very, very good, uh, to say the least. Taylor Lewan in his post-game press conferences called out um, Michigan's offensive line last week and was even more disgusted, it appeared today. Uh, you know, that's just not good enough. He actually said, I know that there's a lot of former Michigan linemen uh, watching us across the country right now, and we're not playing Michigan football. We're not running the ball. Uh, we're not a uh, quote unquote, I'm kind of putting words in his mouth now, but it's not a vintage Michigan rushing performance when your running back only gains seven yards on nine carries. But really, Denard Robinson is a tremendous athlete. I think you saw it today. And another thing, too, that uh, I see Denard live and, uh, you know, seeing him live for the first time, I wasn't in Dallas last week, is that he has a strong arm. The kid can really throw. Sometimes his accuracy uh, might be a little bit iffy, but I think as the season progresses, Denard Robinson is going to be fine. This was not a, a great game uh, for Michigan by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a victory. It was a win, and so I think you have to chalk it up as, uh, as an encouraging sign for the Wolverines because this could have been a game that they could have easily lost. I've seen a lot of these games over the years here at Michigan Stadium, and uh, sometimes on the last play of the game, whether it be Colorado or sometimes in Michigan's favor against Virginia and Penn State, weird things happen on the last play of the game here at Michigan Stadium. That didn't occur today. Michigan's defense came up on the final drive, uh, stymied uh, uh, the uh, Falcons, uh, it took the ball over, and then uh, Denard just ran out the clock. But Denard Robinson, the real deal. Uh, obviously, Devin Funches is, uh, is a tight end and a star maybe that they found. Devin Gardner had some nice catches. Uh, overall, offensively, I think it was uh, a very uh, one-sided performance again. But every time Michigan wins and whenever we're talking about uh, uh, greatness on offense, it always seems it begins and ends with Denard Robinson. Their offensive line, I think Michigan's point of the attack, both lines have to play better. Uh, but, uh, but overall, I'll take it. It was a win. This was a very difficult team for Michigan to play. After playing such a power and well-balanced and great team in Alabama, to come back and play uh, an Air Force team, which is very well disciplined. Remember, these guys are soldiers. I mean, they're, they're in a military academy. I mean, they're very disciplined. They're very regimented. Uh, hardly any play, uh, penalties. Uh, they have a system down. They run it to perfection. They run it to a T. And I think that Michigan is never going to see another offense like this. And I thought it took them some time to get used to it. 
it. Once they got used to it, they did get a little bit better. But overall, I think that Michigan and their coaches probably feel good that they escaped uh, at least with a victory uh, here today from an offense that they're never going to see uh, for the remainder of this season. I think Michigan walked away fairly impressed with Air Force and the way uh, that they played. Now defensively, well that might be another story, but uh, I really think besides Denard Robinson, another key to Michigan this year, and I think something you're going to see uh, as the year progresses is that this team is going to get younger and younger and younger and they're going to gain experience and by I mean younger is is that I think Brady is not holding back this year uh, Brady Holt talked about hey we recruit kids to come here and play football and whether they're a freshman or sophomore or whatever if they have the talent and they prove it in practice then we're going to play them Michigan uh, by Brady's accounts play 12 true freshmen today and I think, again, that that is something to look as this season progresses, that I think Michigan is going to become a younger football team. I think you're going to see a lot of true freshmen, a lot of redshirt freshmen, and a lot of sophomores uh, crack the Michigan lineup, especially defensively if this defense continues to struggle, even though, again, I want to stress, this Air Force offense is a different kind of cat, and I think that Michigan, uh, you know, as the game went on, they, as a matter of fact, Jordan Kofak said after the game that uh, Greg Madison scrapped a couple of defensive schemes and plays and took one game plan that they had against the Air Force and threw it out and changed it up on the fly in the second half, and you saw what happened. Uh, Michigan did play a little bit better. Time of possession favored Air Force greatly in this game, almost by 11 minutes. But again, Denard had two big long runs for touchdowns. So Michigan really struck quickly and struck fast. I would like to see a more rhythm offensively by Michigan, uh, and, and I would like to see them be more dominant at the line of attack and a little more physical. I'd like to see Michigan be a little more physical football team. Uh, and, and I think that it's coming. But this is going to be a little bit slower. I think that what we saw last year, and we were so encouraged by 11-2, and two, I think that this is a work in progress, and, and I really do believe that even though Michigan may not have an 11-2 and two record this year, as the season progresses, this team is going to get younger, and I believe better, and I think it's setting itself up nicely for the future. But right now, the offense is in the capable hands of Denard Robinson, and if Denard's not going, Michigan could have some problems unless that running game uh, and the offensive line gets up to snuff and uh, starts creating some holes for Fitz Toussaint and the rest of the Michigan running backs. I think Devin Funches looks like a, you know, a budding star of the future. He's a pretty big kid. He can leap. He has ability. Uh, and uh, that was a good sign. And then defensively, I think uh, if the defense continues to struggle and give up yards, and we'll see next week against UMass. Remember, a couple of years ago, different defense. I know all that. But uh, UMass really uh, uh, ran up some big numbers against Michigan right here in Michigan Stadium. So um, Denard Robinson and freshmen are the story of this game because I think, as I said, Denard's good. He uh, will uh, definitely be carrying the torch for the offense all season long, it looks like. What else is new there? And I think if the defense continues to struggle and it does not get it, Michigan has no hesitation of playing uh, freshmen, fifth-year fre or pardon me, um, a redshirt freshman, true freshman, or even sophomores. This defense could get younger as the season wears on. Until next time we meet, and it'll probably be tomorrow as we talk about Detroit, uh, uh, the Detroit Lions live from Michigan Stadium. I'm Art Regner. Have a safe and pleasant one, everyone. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.